Welcome everyone to our new course for maintenance, reliability, and asset management fundamentals. First of all, let's have a brief introduction about myself for first timers. I'm Smail Magdi. I'm a senior civil engineer and project manager with more than 14 years of experience holding a master's degree in civil engineering and I'm a certified project management professional by the Project Management Institute as well as many other international accreditations. So this course consists of nine chapters. In the first chapter, we are going to have an introduction about the three main components of the course, which are maintenance management, reliability engineering, and asset management. In the second chapter, we will learn the different strategies of maintenance as well as the evolution of maintenance techniques, starting from corrective maintenance, preventive maintenance, productive maintenance, and finally, reliability-centered maintenance. Third chapter is going to cover the maintenance management cycle, starting from planning, scheduling, till execution. While fourth chapter is going to cover the MRO main components, including how do you control our inventory, how to calculate the minimum and maximum requirements of spare parts, how to manage the workforce, including the main KPIs for inventory and workforce. Fifth chapter is going to cover reliability engineering, where we are going to learn about criticality analysis, failure mode and effect analysis, as well as reliability center maintenance. Sixth chapter is going to be dedicated to maintenance and reliability KPIs, where we are going to learn about the main parameters of KPIs and especially maintenance and reliability KPIs. Seventh chapter will be about root cause analysis, and in this chapter, we will learn the process of root cause analysis and its importance in the world of maintenance, and when exactly do you have to do it. Eighth chapter is going to be about enterprise asset management systems, where we are going to learn about EAMS and the CMMS softwares and their importance in asset management. Finally, ninth chapter is going to have a brief summary of the course as well as some important references. So this course is going to be very useful to all engineers who are interested in starting a career in the field of maintenance management or asset management, as well as engineers who want to understand more about the concept of reliability engineering. Also, this course is going to be useful for engineers who are interested in obtaining the CMRP certificate as it covers many points of the exam syllabus. By the end of this course, you will have full understanding about all of the main fundamentals of asset management and maintenance management. You will also learn about the asset life cycles and how to manage your asset during this life cycle. You will have a solid understanding about the main concepts of reliability engineering as well as reliability-centered maintenance. Also, you will learn about the enterprise asset management systems and how to choose the suitable system for your company. Also, we will go through the root cause analysis process and you will learn about the different maintenance and reliability KPIs. So, enough with the introduction, and let's get started with our course. Thank you.